Shawnee. Welcome back. So today I have on my glasses. One of the two pairs that I have. I have now learned that I need to have two pairs. Um, and I decided that I'm going to do my makeup to show you how I do my makeup when I'm wearing my glasses. Honestly, oftentimes if I have my glasses on, I might not have on makeup just because it's pretty hard for me to see without them or without contacts, which is what you usually see me in. And honestly, this was Jan's idea, <laughs> of course. Uh, but just to give you some context, uh, context, not context, I've been wearing glasses since I was two. I actually had eye surgery when I was two and then I had a little patch, y'all. I was a pirate. And you know I pulled it off so well. And then I started wearing glasses since then. So I don't know what it's like to see without some sort of corrective lens. And I didn't get contacts until I think I was 18. I think it was in my first year of college. No, I think it was after my first year. I think I was going into my second year. So yes, I played volleyball, basketball, and was a cheerleader with glasses. And let me tell you, I have been hit in the face and the glasses have flown, flown off my face. My brother has stepped on them and broken them. There was a time in high school, I think that was after my brother stepped on my glasses. So I could not see y'all. So I had to sit practically on top of the board just to be able to be in class. Anyway, so with that said, I'm going to show you what I do. Now, if I am wearing my glasses and going to wear some makeup, I'm not generally putting on a lot. Um, one, because I can't see <laughs> to do all of that. And two, like my glasses are just going to be the prominent thing on my face. I don't want a whole bunch of other things happening. So something that's really good for me is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin uh, Blurring Balm Powder. And I use the shade 9 all over my face. And now that I have shade 10, I'm going to use this as a bit of a bronzer. I don't tend to use concealer because just like I don't want to bring even more attention to right here. Just because I feel like, like my glasses are taking up half of my face. So there is that. And then I also don't tend to do too much with the eyes. So I'm going to use my Focus palette. A couple of shades are out of there, but basically just some neutral tones. Um, I do use mascara. And also I try to put everything out <laughs> so that I can see where everything is. And I'm going to use this um, Yummy Skin Blush from Danessa Myricks. This is in the shade Rosé and Brunch. So we have that. And then I just have a little bit of like Rosebud Sal for my lips. Sometimes I'll wear a color, sometimes I won't. And then I've got my, um, what's this called? eyebrow pencil. I'm going to have some brushes out. Typically I just need like one brush and I'll use this one like as a liner thing. So I think I have everything. I'm all set up. Um, so I'm going to take my glasses off and get started. Do we need a primer? Um, I don't think I'll worry about a primer. Typically if I do put on a primer, um, it'll be something that is mattifying because if I, if my face gets oily or I sweat or something, I don't want my glasses just to be like this. <laughs> so it'll typically be something that's a bit more mattifying. Actually, I do need a setting powder. So here is the NARS Soft Matte in the shade Offshore. Okay, so let's get started. So the other thing I need is a mirror. So I have two with me. I have the Amor y Mariposas mirror from Melt Cosmetics. And then I have this mirror from, I'm trying not to blind you, this mirror from um, the Riki mirror. I know this kind of changes <laughs> the, the color on the camera, so I'll try to use this one. But I like this one because it has like 10 times magnification, so it makes it a lot easier to see. All right, glasses are coming off. Put them in a safe place. There have been many a time I've put my glasses somewhere and then I couldn't find them. Mm, that was fun. So let's go ahead and start with the Blurring Balm. This is the shade 9. And this is a new one um, because I panned the other one. So here is a sponge. It's a damp sponge that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to tap into there. 
and put this on. Okay, I might have to use the other mirror. I just am trying not to like um, make the color change. So I'm gonna have to use this. Oh, much better, much better. You can actually see. So I'm just dipping back into the blurring balm. Even with the mirror right here, it's blurry. Like my face is blurry. I know it's my face, um, but it is definitely difficult to see. Luckily, I kind of know my face well enough because I do put makeup on, I do see myself. So I kind of know where I want to put more coverage or less or whatever. And obviously if I'm doing, using this blurring balm, I'm not looking for a ton of coverage. I don't typically use like a heavy, if I put it right here, you guys can still see. I don't use like a full coverage foundation just because I'm not certain that I'll cover everything. <laughs> okay. So there is that. The other thing is maybe other people can see better than I can without their glasses, but I, I honestly cannot. The other thing is keeping everything close so that you know where things are. And also just <laughs> like some of the things that are brighter are easier to see. And this is like super reflective. So when I look down on my vanity, I'm like, oh, there it is. So this is shade 10. This is fairly new like I got it yesterday or the day before. And I'm just going to use this as bronzer. So I'm using that same, same sponge. And then we have the blush. Still going to use the same sponge. Okay, let's do a quick check. <laughs> Okay, so that looks good. Oh, I didn't put the cover back. Where is the cover? Here it is. Okay, so now we're going to go in with my NARS Soft Matte Powder in the shade um, Offshore. And I like to take just a big brush and just go over my face. And the larger brush helps because it just is covering lots more surface area and I can see it moving on my face. Right. And now let's do some eyeshadow. I have everything in front of me here. So this is my Focus palette, which is a palette that has just a bunch of neutral shades from Sydney Grace. So I'm going to go in with this deeper shade. Hopefully I'm porting, pointing to it. And then I think I'll go in with one of these. Hopefully, again, I am pointing to those shades. <laughs> Y'all, I really can't, like, hopefully you're understanding. I, I cannot see without corrective lenses. So I have this deeper brown, and I typically will use just more neutral shades. I'm not going to use any shimmer or anything. Um, so I'm putting this darker shade on the outer corner. Let's do that on this side. This is where it helps to kind of know 
my eye shape and how I typically wear my makeup. Now I'm going to go into that lighter shade. Just put that on the lid. The good thing about not using shimmer is I'm not getting any like shimmer fallout, which I definitely don't want. All right, we will assume that that looks the same. And then we have our um, brow pencil. Now the brows can be the scarier part because I've got to like fill them in. But was what does help is that I have dark brows so I can kind of see them enough to fill them in a bit. I just want them to like frame my glasses a bit, not like overshadow them. And then I have this brush, which is a Rosenben brush. I'm going to use that kind of like as a liner. I'm just going to go back into that deep shade here. Yep. <laughs> Got it. So let's back up. I can go, I need to go, have to go to the ophthalmologist every year. Um, and then I can typically, after I've gotten all my tests done and stuff, I can typically go to the optometrist just for like, any other thing but I do have to get those like tests and stuff done and what I learned also is if you have seizures they can definitely mess up your eyes at times but because I um because I had eye surgery when I was two I just have to go all the time um and no LASIK will not help me um I like probably still have to wear glasses uh, so now I'm just putting on mascara um, so one of our first dates I need to pick up my new glasses and we were like right by the glasses place <laughs> so I was like do you want to go with me to get my glasses and I was like sure so we go in and I have my two pairs of glasses and I'll tell you why I now have two pair um, and of course, because all men do this, they're like, let me try on your glasses. I'm like, why? That It's a very strong prescription. Like, why is that a thing? Why do you want to try on my glasses? But here you go. So he tries them on and I was joking. I was like, now you can see through the walls, right? And so he's walking around like this. I'm like, ha ha ha, funny. Why do all men do that? Why do, <laughs> why, why? I don't know. Um, but the reason I have two pair of glasses is because <laughs> I will often lose them. Like, and not in a bad way, like they're outside or something, but in the house. Cause I'll put them down, I'll put them on like the couch or the bed or something, and then I can't find them. And so <laughs> at least I know where the other pair is so that I can get that pair and search for the first pair. Um, that makes sense to me. And the reason I have glasses and contacts is that contacts are just a bit more comfortable for every day, um, especially like when it's hot and you're like you're sweaty. Sometimes your glasses can like slide off and stuff. Um, but there was a time in college, I think this is when I started paying for <laughs> my glasses and contacts and I could only afford contacts. But then there was a fire alarm that went off in the dorm and we had to go outside and um, there's no time to put on your contacts if you think there's a fire. So from that day, I was like, yeah, I have to have both. And my glasses tend to be very, very expensive. It's kind of ridiculous. It's like, I need to see, why is this so expensive? Cause I have to get like certain lenses and then you need to get the like anti-glare and just like, it's, it's so expensive. I don't understand. 
Okay, one thing I didn't set out is a lip liner. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have this lip liner from LA Girl in the name Chocolate or the shade. So I kind of know the outline of my lips, but I'll still use the mirror. And I could always put on my glasses for this part, but I don't know why I didn't. Glasses. Okay, here it is. Not bad. A little hot, but not bad. So <laughs> here is the finished look. Uh, that was very like exposing and vulnerable. Oh my God, it's so hot. So hopefully some of this was helpful for some of you, or maybe it was just fun to see me like doing something a little different. Uh, yeah. Um, I also hope that you're continuing to take care of yourself. Drink your water. It's really hot. We need to stay hydrated. I know several family members who have ended up at the doctor's office or in the hospital because of dehydration, and I don't want that for any of you or anyone else in my life. Okay, so uh, please make sure to like the video, hit that thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. Do you wear glasses? Do you wear contacts? Are you one of those people I'm jealous of who have like really good vision? I don't like you. What is life like? What is that? What is that like? <sighs> um, yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.